Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly better tutorial for Hearts of Iron 3. In this episode we will be covering the basics of politics. Politics might seem like an unimportant part of the game, but it can give you quite a few bonuses to your nation's power when used correctly. We will also get a brief overview on national unity and how this will affect you. Before we get started, we must cover a few basic terms that is important to understand before we get into the actual politics tab. Modifiers are in this part of the game are increase or decrease in the monthly gain of a resource. It is also used when talking about almost any percentage negatives or positives. This is not to be confused with combat modifiers that we will cover in a different episode. Decay is how fast we lose our practical experience we gain from producing high amounts of a certain type of division. It is important to know that in Hearts of Iron 3 a modifier will still display a plus sign even if it is negative. Look out for red text since that indicates it is a negative modifier. Organization is how long a unit will last in battle before routing. Morale is a modifier that lowers the amount of organization we will lose during hard fighting. Organization regain rate is how fast our units regain the organization. National unity is how many of our important cities must be occupied before we can surrender. It is displayed to the upper right of the screen. Okay, now that we know what those mean, it will be easier to understand the Politics tab. Now, click Politics. Let's get a brief overview of this screen. First, we have all the ministers in our government. As you can see, they all give different modifiers depending on which doctrine they have. You can replace your ministers at any time as long as there is a replacement available. Laws will provide straightforward bonuses to your base value of certain resources. They will also give you modifiers to, for example, your national unity gain. Here you can see the political parties that exist in your parliament, their organization and their popularity which is modified by events. This does not matter all that much since you will continue to be the head of the nation even if your party loses the election. But it might make a difference because some parties are drawn to certain factions. Strategic warfare is modifiers to our national unity. Here we can see how many convoys that have been sunk by submarines, how many battles that have been fought on our native soil, and how many times our cities have been bombed. Mobilize means turning our reserve divisions into full strength. This will take some time and require a lot of manpower, so only use it when you are sure that you are going to war. You will automatically mobilize if your country is at war. In the Occupied Country screen, you can see what nations you have occupied zones in. If you annex the nation completely, you will disappear from that section. Now you can use the Create Puppet option. Here you can release one of your annexed nations and make them a puppet state, meaning that they are now your minions. If you are part of a faction, you can liberate allies when you have retaken more than half of their provinces. For example, if you play the allies historically, you will use this option to liberate France. Okay, that's it for this time. I hope you learned something. If not, please let me know what I missed. In the next episode, we'll cover intelligence. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.